if you want me to expound upon the moment, what the moment means. Yeah, I guess, yeah. Uh, it means absolutely nothing and absolutely everything. Okay. <laughs> the moment is all that is real. Everything else is either memory yeah. or imagination. That's it. He said all that is real. The moment is all that is real. Everything else is either memory or imagination. We only make judgment always is in your past. Judgment of yourself is a judgment of your past. Judgment of another is a judgment of their past. Even if you were, if I was looking at you, Maurice, and you said, you are a damn fool, Silas, and I made a judgment of you saying you're a damn fool, even that is already a judgment of your past. Still just a judgment of the past. The best response for me would be like, oh, yeah. Yes. Couldn't agree more. That would be a wise response. Be in that moment. Feel it. Enjoy it. Thank you for giving me this gift. Everything is either is everything that's not now is just memory or imagination. It's either it's just past being projected or past being experienced. And unfortunately, a lot of people carry around the past in their mind. Yeah, you might carry around the past in your mind. And that past feels very real to you. Uh, matter of fact, that's what we do the vast majority of the time. We define people by their past continually, unknowingly, unconsciously. We define people by the experiences we've had with them, especially people that were close to them. So the reason why when you first encounter somebody, it's more magical than after you've been encountering them for 10, 15, 20 years is because when you first encounter somebody, you don't have a reference point. So your mind is wide open to experience them in a new way. But then the mind wants to take those impressions that are made upon it and it wants to immediately associate them with those impressions. This is who they are. And then it continues to do that with every experience it has of them until finally the mind is just like, well, that's just what they are. This is just how they, you know, well, you know, so-and-so, this is just the way they are. And you're missing Jesus Christ. I mean, you're missing God in the flesh, incarnation, the word made flesh right in front of you. I mean, smack dab in front of you. Somebody gets upset with you. You go to the bar and you look at a lady. And you're like, eh, I'm going to buy you a drink. And they smack you across the back. How dare you? I was with my boyfriend. You think to yourself, my God, I just got smacked in the face by God. This is awesome. This is the best day of my life. And you start celebrating. You're like, yes, thank you. And they're like, what is, you need to go to the psych ward. What is wrong with you? How can you celebrate that? I mean, my God. That's awesome, isn't it? Yeah, y'all are looking at me like I'm crazy. What did you think Jesus meant when he said to turn the other cheek? How do you think you can do that? You can only do that when it, you, you realize that, that you're, you're staring into the face of God. You know how much self-discipline it takes to sit there and take a beating when you hate it? You know how easy it is when you like it? Come on. Why Jesus could hang on the cross and look out over all of creation and say it is perfect? To tell you it is finished, it is complete, it is perfect. Everything that I see is perfected, it is perfect in my eyes. Why? How can you do that? How can you sit in the electric chair or in a, getting lethal injection and look around and be so stoked at the perfection of the moment? Because that's all that is real. If you're hanging on to the little life you built for yourself, you couldn't possibly think that way. Oh, my life's coming to an end. It's coming to an end. Oh, no. But when you're lost in the moment, see, you're either lost in your past or in your future, or you're lost in the moment. That's ecstasis. Ecstasis is to be out of your mind in this moment.
and it's oh so good.